Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogaf, it's uh, Wednesday, so I'm playing Species. Yeah, well I'm continuing with my uh, Evolve or Die series. Uh, in this particular iteration, I'm... God, look at these things. I'm going to be continuing to reduce the um, the fertility of the land. Which is like this thing. I'm trying to make the camera go up and it and it won't. There we go. I wanted to see what these guys were doing over here. I, I love how these things swim. Look. L look at them swim. Look at this guy. How how does that work? H how, how does your body function like this? I don't know how these things even manage to function. Right, so I I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. I waited our 25 generation gap between adjustments. We're down to two species. This was up to like 15 at one point. So we've got two of these guys. Look at him. He's got feet where his hands should be. And he's, he's also got these weird, like, little nubbins here. I'm not sure if this is the leg and this is the foot, or they're two different sets of legs. The eyeballs are horrifying. Look, look, absolutely just horrifying. And they changed while I was looking at them. Oh, no, they didn't. The species changed. All right. Just, just look at that thing. God damn it. Let's uh, reduce the fertility and see how that affects them. Death is probably how it's going to affect them. I can't really remember what how I did it in the last episode. I should try and watch my own videos from time to time, but you can see the, the land fertility is at 0 0.8, so I'm just going to click this until it goes down to 0 0.7. Oh, it went up to 1? Okay, let's get it down to 0 0.8. There we go. I think that's where we were last time. If we were at 1 last time, then this is going to have a huge effect compared to the previous effects. But I'll just, I'll just, I'm all right with it. We'll just leave it there. Let's uh, put it on full speed and just see what the immediate effect of that is. I gotta give give it to them. These things are bloody hardy. We're, we're down to one species again, but that's the one that we've been following. The music has bloody kicked in and the volume's too high, so I'm being bloody deafened. Go me. We've just got one dominant species and it's... um. Like I say, this, this thing has been through some rough times. It's been cooked and frozen, and now it's being starved. Things are um, looking rough for this as a species. Oh my god, we're up to four now? What happened? I wasn't watching, so I didn't really see anything, but... Oh, look at the population, look! Holy freaking hell. Let's just have a look at... What's popped up? Oh, Jesus. Is any, th these will probably die off. There's only like a handful of each of them, although there's 33 of these damn things. Look at the tail. Look, it must just wander about on its tail. Because its feet don't even... I think these are feet. They look like flippers. They don't touch the damn floor. <laughs> The colour on this is um, intriguing. It's similar to this one in colour. This one's just got all the eyes. It just wants all the eyeballs. It took the eyes from the other species and just kept them for itself. I think this is the one that, that I've been following. This, this one? Yes, this one is the one that I've been following quite significantly. This is the one that tends to get imported into new worlds due it to it being like the strongest but god damn look at it 
Let's have a look. Um, averages. It's still a herbivore. It was my contention that um, reducing the fertility would force them to become carnivores. It doesn't seem to have been that way. It just kind of kills them. <laughs> They're smooth-skinned and lukewarm-blooded and... Yeah, not a lot of... Oh, they've lost the... I nearly said necrophiliac. That's not the word I was looking for. It was narcoleptic. They've lost the narcoleptic trait, haven't they? They used to be amorous as well. They used to be, like, big breeders, and I guess they're not now. It does still ignore temperature, which is a thing, but... Get it on full speed. Right, okay. Um, Let's... I, I forgot to do the thing. Where, where is it? Oh, God, son of my gift. So we're on generation 102. I'll let this jump up to uh, 125. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll reduce the land fertility even further. And just see how it affects them. Right, we're back. It's been uh, 25 generations, roughly. There's been... There's been a lot going on again. You notice we're up to eight species now. I think we were down to one before I did the time skip, were we not? There's been a lot of mutation. Not much of it particularly beneficial as far as I'm concerned. If I pause it quickly, look. There's 987 of these guys and 1,049 in total, which means the vast majority of individuals in this um, world are this guy. Seven other species are not this guy, and there can't be very many of them. There's, like, less than, what, a hundred individuals between, between species. Let's go and have a look, see what they look like. This is always my favourite part of these videos. Oh, God, that guy, look. This is always my favourite part of these videos, is seeing what hideous beasts have, like, developed. Uh, what do we have here? We have that guy. Oh, he's not that bad. Yeah, I, I like this kind of almost shrimp, praying mantis-style boxing glove arm thing that these guys have got going on. Well, you're nothing, aren't you? you does he have eyes on his hands? On his arms? He does. Oh no, they're stalks. It's hard to get a good angle on this. Yeah, the stalks look, are here. And they they just blended in with his colouring, so I thought they were growing on his hands for a minute there. See, there's only like 41 of those. There's what, 900 of these guys. There goes the music again, every time this happens to me. What have we got? Too, well, I was about to say nothing too hideous, and then we ended up with this. I'm not even sure what way up this guy is. Is he upside down right now? I, I think this is... Oh, God. Wait, where did you go? There you are. <laughs> I think this is the belly. That's... Oh, yeah, it's just a massively bent-over version of the one we've already got, but with... Weird, even weirder legs. Like, oh god, stop doing that game. So this is the leg, and this is the foot. It's just one big round blob for a foot. That's our regular guy. This... Like, this is a direct descendant. There's t only two of them, so they're not going to live long, but it's actually got almost proper legs. Like, I could see these legs almost being functional. The stalks there look, are underneath the head, so the eyeballs can't see out the body. It's also got these ones on the back of its freaking head. It's got another one there, look. One... Oh my god, stop. It's got one stalky eyeball right on the back of its head. Why? What use is that to you? Again. This one's got horns all over the place and... Wait, are they horns and eyeballs or are they just horns? I don't think they're horns at all. They're like teeny tiny... There they are, they're eyeballs on stalks. I thought that was a horn. My bad. God, I need to not zoom in. Was it that guy, that guy, and that guy? 
are loosely related. Everything on this island is like loosely related. But if I zoom out, look, this guy branched off from a mutation that branched off from our dominant species. And so did this guy. And they've kind of ended up looking mostly the same, haven't they? Really little difference between them. Right, let's put it up on full speed. This, this population, how they're surviving, I do not know. I did notice while, um, while I was, you know, time skipping that a lot of them are going into the water in search for food. But because they're not good swimmers, they tend to die. So they're good survivors, but bad swimmers? I, they're not particularly smart, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, they would rather drown getting to food than wait for food to become available on the land and i'm just about to reduce it so that's down to seven that's down to seven it there's small increments which means it's very small changes but i think once this gets down to like zero thing it's it's gonna go south really really quickly that's south with two f's by the way My God. Yeah, look, I mean, this was quite green, fertile land before, and it's mostly desert now. Eventually, I think the vast majority of this is going to be desert, like this big patch here. Like, these guys have swum over here in search for food because they're not frightened to migrate due to their the traits that I've developed in them. But now it's slowly becoming less and less fertile, so the move wasn't a spectacular idea, was it? But again, I don't know how really that's going to balance out for them, because there's less competition here for the food than there is here. It might be a good move, it might be a bad move. I'm not really sure. Because I'm son of Mogef, and I know none of the things. Look at this guy, look. I'm gonna just wait here for food. Either that or I'm gonna I'm trying to click the damn thing and it keeps moving. It seems to be doing alright actually up here. Every now and again you see these little blue markers above them, which means oh which means they're after oxygen. That, that guy died as well. I wonder if any of these guys are like going towards being carnivores yeah that is something i want to keep my eye on uh species stats averages i think they're all at minus one minus one minus one minus one you're new aren't you i can tell <laughs> you've got, actually got a bloody neck and eyes that aren't embedded into your body Wow, minus one, minus... God damn it, they're becoming worse as I watch them. Minus one, minus one. What the actual hell game? What is this? Minus one, minus one, minus one. God, they're so ugly. Yeah, they're all herbivores. And they show no signs of becoming carnivorous. Look at them all. Look, look at how disgustingly vile they all are. I, I think I said it in the last video that the, the creatures on that I've you know developed over the course of these last three videos they, they look like something that HP Lovecraft would bloody describe. I think so utterly alien that your brain kind of folds in on itself trying to understand what's going on. Let's let's find our guy, shall we? And I'll do I guess I'm gonna have to do another time skip. The population does not seem to have um been affected that badly. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Oh, it's this guy. This guy's the one we've been following. Yeah, so the, these guys, they're on generation 133 already. I'll do another time skip and I'll reduce the food further. I might, what, what, what I might do from this point is reduce it to decimal points each time. 
not decimal points, that doesn't make sense, by, you know, by two each time rather than one. Because each time it causes the population to drop off, but then it just, it goes back up to where it was. So maybe a, a harsher change will, um, will cause, I don't know, and more death. I'm not sure what the end goal is here for me. <laughs> death is, and murder tends, tends to be it. So, um, yeah, I'll do another time skip. Once this is up to 150, I'll bring you guys back and we'll make a harsher change. All right, well, welcome back once again. I, um, I, I've been keeping an eye on this. Uh, look at the amount of species we have. And it... But where the game, like, flicks between them somewhat randomly, I, I already know that some of them are going to be utterly hideous. Let's have a look and see what we've got, and then I'll... Oh, no, I, I, I was... Oh. Why is it that I do that every time? This guy's not too bad. He's less hideous. He looks more upright than the others. <laughs> are these eyeballs? I'm just going to call them eyeballs and pretend they don't look like testicles in his mouth. Oh, God. You know what I'll do is I'll do it. I'll look at them on the clade diagram. That way I can rotate them if I need to. All right. So this, this is obviously related to our main dude. Yeah, this is, he's more upright than the others. I kind of like that. What the actual hell? What? He's, a, he's got giant legs growing out of his waist. Oh, no, they're not even legs, are they? The legs are like spindly little stalks. It's the feet that are huge. Look, that's like the, the bloody human, almost human foot. Isn't it? Look at this bloody thing. And you've got legs there. Why have you developed these? What are these for? How many of these are there? Oh, there's only one. Unless this thing takes a severe, like, upturn in survival, then um, he's not going to last long. I mean, you can tell by looking at this clay diagram. Look at all the death. Look. All this stuff. This is all death. <sighs> What have we got? All right. They, they, a lot of these things look similar. And every now and again, you end up with one that j just, just it is completely different. I, I still don't know what these are, and I'm, I, I'm kind of frightened to ask. Oh, is that another one of them? Huh. So this weirdly giant foot trait seems to be quite a bunt. Oh. He's got, like, a long spindly neck that's, like, folded into his body. He's got this tiny little, like, head. He's got hand, feet where his hands should be. He's got blobs where his feet should be. I, I, I've run out of, like, surprise to have at how bizarre these creatures are. At this point, I don't know if I could... I was just about to say it. Wasn't I? I was literally just about to say, I don't know if I can be surprised anymore. And then this, this happened. I mean, are you trying to be a giraffe? Because you're kind of bipedal and bent over backwards. You need to kind of flip yourself over if you want to be a giraffe. But the neck, where is, where is this neck developed from? Is this beneficial to you? How many of these are there? Which one was it? There's only one of them. Maybe they, they're they not going to survive. The others are pretty much similar. We just every now and again, you end up with like this Bigfoot one. Or this guy. Where, where's he gone? This guy with the gigantic neck. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Let's put it on full speed and reduce the fertility even further. I said I was going to put it down two each time, didn't I? That goes from seven to five. Is this going to slope off? It is a gradual change, but because I've got it on high speed, that gradual change isn't at is isn't gradual for us. It's gradual for the creatures in the world still because they're also sped up. But 
It's one of those weird things where you have to take into account of like referential time frames. Technically at this point, we are traveling through time at a different rate than the creatures and the world. If that makes sense. I, I, it probably doesn't, but hopefully somebody somewhere will understand what I'm trying to point out. Look at them all busy and about, look. I don't care that you've taken our food away. We can live. We're going to live. You cannot harm us. We are too sturdy as a species. But that guy died right in front of me. This is absolutely crazy. I, can, can, I, I really want the devs to rework the camera in this because it's a little bit odd. There's still still quite a lot of trees over there. It's thinning out, isn't it, slowly in this area. Like, if I zoom a little bit... Oh, God. Like, the desert areas, the barren wastelands that I'm so adept at creating. God, oh, God damn. I, I should have kept the camera where it was. That's better. Look at all this, look. This was quite... Lush and verdant at one point, and I've destroyed it. it not, not that the creatures care. They, they seem really very happy, don't they? Like, there's bloody tons of them now. How's our dude doing? Uh, species. Oh, oh you. Oh, why? Is that our guy? I think it is. He's dying. Wow, he's actually being replaced by more by more uh how can I put it by species that are better adapted, I assume. I'm not looking at the numbers either, like 12, 8, there's 200 odd of these guys which look almost identical to the to the guy we've been following. So who is currently dominating? There's so many species that... Oh, God. This thing. I'd almost forgotten this thing existed. Oh, my God. Ah, this guy might be our new champion. Over 200 of him. Like, there's nearly 200 of this guy, and he's so bent over backwards, I can't actually see him. Holy freaking hell. Uh, where's he gone? Where, where's our guy gone? Oh, God, I hate it. When you switch between them... Oh, th thanks, game. Uh, it's not like that I was doing anything then, you know. When you switch between the different creatures on the island, the swarm with the long neck, if you look really closely, it like pops its head up as I'm looking at it. Where is it? Where are you? Where have you gone? It's just, I don't know if it'll even show up, but I, I can notice it. It just, its head starts off down, I assume because it's eating or something, you know, this specific specimen. It just goes boop. It just pops the head back up, and it's a little bit jarring. Right, I guess I'm going to do another time skip. There's going to be lots of them in this video. I will kind of want to tie up this um, fertility thing in this video, if I can. Wait, did our guy go extinct while I wasn't paying attention? That's not him, is it? That's Philip. That he's related. The name is almost identical, but ours was ah right. Okay, little investigation on my part quickly. Yeah, look, there's lots of new like species doing well. Major species. Uh, major dominant species is that guy. I think the guy we were following has become extinct. 
a look. Uh, where? Oh god, I zoomed the wrong way. Because he was Philobysis Tricertus. And the one that we've currently got here is Triceraitis. I've completely butchered all of that speakings. That's an interesting development. All right, well, so be it. I'll, um... Oh, no, now I'm going to have to find a new one to follow, aren't I? God damn it, son of my Mogef. I, I said my name wrong. I, I've forgotten my own name. Oh, oh, the giraffe creatures are taking over, look. Oh, god damn it. Right. Oh, I guess I'll just follow this guy. They're all related anyway. It doesn't really matter. All right, so he's on Generation 175, which is kind of um, convenient. I'll wait until they're up to 200. I'll bring you guys back and we'll reduce the um, fertility even further. See how that goes. Right, once again, I'm back. Uh, the guy that I was following, the species that I was following, went extinct. So I started following another one, and that one went extinct. There's been a lot of extinction going on. A hell of a lot. I've settled on this guy for now. Uh, a Philob Triceratus. Closer than, that's as close as you're going to get to a proper way of pronouncing that. Let's you see what I mean. Look, at all this is where we were last time. I think we were just above this line here. Look at all of this. Look at it all. Look, look at all the species like emerging and becoming extinct. There's so many of them. I honestly didn't expect this. We got this guy, and we've got. This this guy who's who's actually tr it looks like he's trying to invert himself. Not really sure what's going on with that. They're all oh wait no that, that wait no you yeah that that one's actually got legs that look like they could function. I like the way it flips upside down and I can barely even tell the difference. Uh. Wow, could you look more derpy? Look at those eyes. Oh, every time. It gets me every bloody time. Ah, well, you look like a thing that might actually exist. I mean, your eyes are obviously in the wrong place, you know. But close enough. These are all major species. <laughs> okay, so you've got long spindly arms. It looks like it might be using them to balance so it doesn't tip over backwards it's doing like a weird crab walk type thing which um cut, let's face it i mean if you had this posture you would absolutely put your arms like downwards to stop yourself falling over wouldn't you i can't say i blame him uh what is this guy oh this is the guy we're following he's got some bicep on him actually this guy look look at this I've also realised that like, he's got little blobs there. Are they hands? Like these... I thought this was the arm and this was the hand. I think this is the arm and this is the hand. Everything is confusing in this game. Everything, like, is so... so strange. Look, look, there's hardly anything left. All the trees are gone. I nearly burst into song then, and I had to stop myself. I nearly did it. So I'm going to put this down another two, and this down another two. Let's have a speed up. There's still so many individuals. Excuse me for a second. Ooh. Sorry, I needed a burp again. I've um, I, I've I got this this thing going on with my digestive system over the last couple of days. It's trying to kill me. I might have eaten something that it didn't agree with, which happens quite a lot to me. But... Come on, son of a gift. Get a good angle. This bit down here has a lot of stuff going on, but it's also got 
food, hasn't it? <laughs> Remember this island? I was talking about this island before. I'm trying to zoom out with the bloody mouse wheel and it's not how this works. Remember I was saying that they migrated from there to here in search for food? Didn't work out well for them, did it? There's hardly anything here for them to eat. The food is in like a clump there and a clump there. There seems to be some in the water here. I don't know. I, again, I mentioned that... Um, I accidentally paused it. I didn't mean to. I, I, I mentioned earlier that the ones that come out... Oh my god, I'm so sorry for the viewers of what I'm doing with this camera. It's so awkward. There we go. Yeah, the ones that go into the water in search for food tend to drown because they can't make it back to shore in time. Like, literally natural selection at work. I'm hungry, I will stop breathing while I eat. And then, yeah, they're not the smartest of creatures. Look at them all dying, look. There's so much death going on here, it's amazing. <laughs> Stop doing it, son of Mogef. You cannot zoom out with the mouse wheel. I'm complaining so much about the camera controls. You, I've played this game a lot. It's, it's kind of my fault for not learning. Oh dear, this... The, the change is what's getting me. I'm kind of shocked at how many things like are developing but also dying out like we've got so many more species than we've normally got at this point in like the trial i guess i guess i'll just call it like a trial also i'm not seeing i pushed the wrong button i do this all the time as well Is that the guy we were following? He looks different. I guess he's just changing colours. Uh, all the draft, draft, draft ones. All the ones that became giraffe. Oh no! Oh, um, I think they've gone extinct. I'm kind of glad about that. They're so weird. I don't. I, do, I just hate looking at so many of these things. They're so freakish. He said, well, uh, 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 this guy's actually not bad. I kind of like that one. Uh, okay, right. I, 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 I want to kind of finish up this. It's going to end up a long video. I've been recording an hour and a half, but there's lots of time skips, which means I can cut it down quite a lot. It will still be a long video, but um, what are we down to? I don't know if that goes to zero. Or if it goes to like point 0.1, I don't know if you can have zero fertility. But I let's let's find the guy that we're that I'm supposed to be following. This guy. I'll do another time skip when this gets to two twenty five. I'll bring you guys back maybe for the final time, and um, yeah, we'll 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 go get rid of even more food. See if. What happens? You notice the population is actually the average population as well is actually going up, not down. Normally, oh god, normally when we do these videos, the population's average slowly goes down until it hits zero and that's extinction. And the amount of species also go down, you end up with just one thing alive. And that's the thing that I've been saving and importing into the next world. This is going a different direction. I might have to import like a dozen or so species into the next world, which will be fun, but also weird. I'm all right with it. Anyway, yeah, like I say, I'm going to do another time skip. I'm going to go get myself a drink because my throat is starting to bust. And um, we'll see how things go from that point. Again, 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 again. Okay, well, here we are again. Once again, always again. With all the agains, I, I, I'm stuck saying the word. Somebody give me a slap and bump, bump me onto the next track. My God, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's been roughly 25 generations. We, we've had more extinction, a lot of extinction, a lot of rough stuff going on for these guys. 
Let's see what our population looks like. I'll slow it down for now. Look, look at it all. This is actually a dominant species. There's like 500 of these guys. Oh, it's, the, it's that one that I said I wasn't sure whether it was upside down or not. Like its head sort of looks like legs. Sort of. Not a, not a lot. Oh. Again, why is it that this happens? This thing has developed giant spiky feet in the middle of its body. It's like an evolutionary safeguard in case it falls over backwards it can like catch itself a lot of them are scaly as well now i'm not sure what's happening there oh there's the long arm dude who's definitely walking on his hands isn't he we've got oh oh no look at like you who who using his arms and hands as feet this one that's just using them as hands like, what is going on with all you things? It's, it's so interesting. You look at this guy with scaly skin and its weird head and its big arms, and it looks really simple compared to this one. But this one seems to be surviving. So, this one and this one are currently doing the best. And this guy is also doing well. This population will not diminish. It will. I'll make it. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this food situation. Here we go. I'm just going to try something quick. Will it go down to zero? It will go. I'm just going to put it to zero. I, I'm pretty sure it'll just kill them all. They're all herbivores and there's no food. They have to die now, right? <laughs> Sounds so psychotic when I say it like that. It's not, the population's still going up. <laughs> die! <laughs> I guess it has dropped quite significantly. This might be the only... What was the word I used earlier? Trial. It's the only trial where they might not die they might actually evolve and survive i mean the the series i've called it evolve or die they might actually just evolve <laughs> with zero food available what the actual hell game oh let it run for a couple of minutes it does take time to for the ecosystem to balance itself out And the numbers are going up and down, up and down, up and down. They have been this whole time, but um, I, I don't really want to like export 12 species and then throw them all in the next world. If I have to do that, I'll, um, I'll absolutely do that. What I'll be doing in the next few videos is I'll get the beta version of the update for this that's not really ready yet there's a thing you can do on steam to get it like a little bit early technically before it's ready but you you guys probably understand what's going on without my ludicrously bad explanations for things so i can get that and apparently that has got like a more complex weather system and it's got the thing with the gravity and the oxygen that i mentioned so if i have to like export i don't know like half a dozen or a dozen guys from this world and put them in another world that i'll make largely flat if i can and then i'll just i'm just gonna increase the gravity i really want to see what happens with that i'm quite excited for that i'm just gonna increase it like by a factor of 10 each time so i'm just gonna add a zero on whatever number the gravity is at i'm assuming that it starts at one so it'll go from 1 to 10, and from 10 to 100, and then from 100 to 1,000, and then you kind of get where I'm going with this. It's going to be stupendous increases. And remember, these things used to be somewhat human. So it, it'll be interesting, in, you know, just to see how that gravity affects them. Because this, this fertility... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say.
They won't bloody die. Why will they not bloody die? <laughs> the population is going up, but the amount of species is going down. Like, this is... Well, wasn't this at like 600 odd before? Now it's up to like a thousand. I haven't been paying attention to this. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Oh, the fire alarm is going off in my building. Give me one minute. That might be important. All right, I'm back. I, I apologize for that delay. That was, I, that, that, that turned into like a thing. The the alarm the fire alarm in my building was just going off because I live in a block of flats flats it's got like a dozen floors so I just went out and I had to look around and I couldn't smell anything and I couldn't see like anything wrong so I came back and I you know unpaused it and I you know the species that is and I you know put it back on the you know speed and I started talking but then there was a knock at my door so I went and answered that and there was like a, f a fire officer like a fire brigade a firefighter at the door and he was like saying the building's on fire you're gonna you gotta get out and i was just like so are we all gonna go stand in the car park six feet away from each other because of the social distancing thing there's like several hundred people that live in this building and i don't know if you've noticed like people in a group, actually take up a lot of space. When you separate them by six feet, we could fill the entire bloody street. And they were like, uh, 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 they weren't really sure what to do. Turns out it wasn't actually a, like, a proper fire. They just thought it was. Somebody flicked a cigarette butt off their balcony, and, of course, the wind just blew it back onto somebody else's balcony, and it started smoldering something and somebody saw it and thought it was like a fire and turned into this whole thing when i came back to sit down and talk to you guys i realized not only did i not stop recording the game was running the whole time admittedly i was only down there like five minutes maybe less it was a pretty quick event as soon as they they got everybody out because they thought the building was on fire when they realised it was just a smouldering thing on the balcony of somebody else, they just went, oh, you can go back inside. It's, it, it's something we can deal with immediately. But like I said, it, this video, this video is going to be so weird. So weird. Um, so let's, let's, let's just see where we are. And now my phone's going off. Let me see who that is. I wonder if that's going to be the people that own the building to tell us what's going on. Or if it's just Devil Princess. It's actually Papa John saying I can get money off pizza. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not really sure what to do here. We've got a lot of survivors in this world, haven't we? Save it, son of Mogef. It's uh, this one. Right. Okay, I'm going to leave that as an episode. It's going to be a long, bloody episode, and it's going to be weird, what with all that stuff that went on just at the end there. What I'm going to do is, like I say, I'm going to get the beta version of this update that's due, and I'm going to, between episodes export all these species that have survived here and we're going to do the gravity thing hopefully next week if it works out the way i'm planning it it's me it probably won't we'll we'll be doing the thing with the gravity with a whole bunch of species i think there's currently seven eleven apparently i do numbers as well as i do words good which is not very well. Oh god, it's going up. Just you've got to stop at some points on a MoGaf. So we're gonna be having about 10, 12 species in this new world, which will be interesting because that hopefully will allow them to diverge a little bit more. So um thank you for everyone for sticking with the series and um continuing, you know, with your input. Don't forget, if you're new, like and subscribe. I'm on this mission at the moment to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the month, which means 
I checked this morning, I need nine subscribers in eight days, which is kind of pushing it for my channel, to be fair, but it's not, it's not unachievable. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and click the button. Two seconds of your time to make me feel awesome. That's probably something you don't care about, but do a good thing. It's weird times and doing nice things for people in weird times means a little bit more. It shouldn't, but it does. So um, yeah, I'm Son of Mogef. This is Species, Artificial Life, Real Evolution, part of my Evolve or Die series. I'll be doing more of this next week, like I mentioned. I'll probably take tomorrow off from making videos. I'm a little bit lacking in the motivation because I haven't been feeling so good. The sleep is an issue. But I will be back Friday. If I don't do anything tomorrow, I will absolutely be back Friday for more Raft. And so I will see you then.